anyway, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping to book a flight and be over in the UK um, towards the end of this week for probably seven, ten days, maybe a fortnight. And what you and I ought to do as well, you know, we're talking about you talking to Bob Gill, talking to Richard Werner. What, like, you know, it'd be good to go up to Cardiff and have a beer with Johnny Vedmore, something like that, you know. If he's a, do you know what I mean? I'll be yeah. yeah, I'll ask him. Yeah. I mean, he's done, he's done quite a few interesting podcasts. It, I was look, listening to one the other day. Jason Burmas was Ed. Uh, uh, the, Jason okay. Burmas used to be on InfoWars. <laughs> Then went away, but has now sort of uh, has guest presented it a few times recently. Um, but this is the thing, you see, it, it, is that it's actually at the level of actually saying, right, OK, well, here are some firm proposals. I mean, I've got firm proposals of what I think should happen in terms of building affordable houses for people to rent and buy. Mm. You know, I mean, that that most of the recent, well, all the research, really, I've been doing the last two years has revolved around looking at that question. Yeah. Right. Um, and, and so. Uh, obviously, Bob Gill's focus will be on the National Health Service. Richard Verner's focus is on the banking system. Now. Mm. Other people will have different views about what's gone wrong or perhaps what the solutions are. Right. I, you know, I, I, I accept that fully in terms of my particular field, um, how that goes in the health service or how that goes in banking. I, you know, I, I'm pretty I mean, you know, Richard Verner's a very reasonable, you know, humble kind of guy. Um, uh, you, you know, you know, Bob, but they, I mean, he seems reasonable when you talk to him, you know, I mean, it's it, it's mm. I, I don't think any of us are jabbing our finger in the middle of someone else's chest and, and sort of saying, you know, you're wrong and you go, you got to shut up and you've got to listen to me. I mean, I, I you know, um, you know, I, I'm really excited to hear what all the ideas out there are, because it's going to be absolutely brilliant. You know, people are brilliant. And, 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 and you know, then, you know what's your what's your best idea where are your best ideas? let's get them down and let's let's let, let's well, get them yeah now that i'm no longer with real media you know i had obviously a bit of a crew and i was doing stuff with them you know it it, it, it happened somehow um obviously i've got the camera i've learned a bit more about video editing and stuff like that so i can be a bit more independent um i've taken a bit of a while to get the band back together again in a way but i'm ready to go now actually um and just start getting other people basically yeah. giving people the opportunity to answer really basic questions in the ways that they know best here's one liam halligan at gb news i mean he's done he wrote a brilliant book about affordable housing you know the mm. guy at architects for social housing i mean he, you know um i i noticed there was a bit of a spat that uh, he's part of um class warfare ian bones lot and they're pretty mm. hard or anarchist chaps yeah yeah you know, they're, they're you know they're, they're the big boys in the playground as far as anarchism goes and stuff yeah um, and, and so obviously i mean they're fairly uncompromising sort of thing but you know I, i'm sure the guy knows a lot about social in the sense you remember at the beginning of all of this the um uh the the people um pretty vacant that report that that group yeah you said the yeah. empty homes yeah they, They've never got in touch with me. The other guy, I, I sent a message. I, I'm not on LinkedIn anymore. I closed my account, as I have with all of these, uh, what we're going to call it, these, um, these, uh, Data. uh ty 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 the, these algorithm, these algorithmic tyrant machines or whatever, you know, that, that some people call social media. Um, I, 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 um, I, I, like I say, I'm not on LinkedIn anymore. So, uh, uh, but I did when I was on it send a message to the guy that wrote the property lobby again, which is a great book. Yeah, yeah. I never I, got back in. 
Well, well, I did. I got a message. It was a very suspicious me message back, more or less, sort of asking me what the conversation was going to be before we even had the uh, the conversation. And I, was, you know, all it was, I said, I like your book. I look, you know, what you're saying. I've got a, a house building company. Would you like to have a chat? So I couldn't tell you know what specifically. Well, I don't know what happens when to you know. Yeah, I've read your book. Let's have a conversation and see what happens. Yeah, but this is that's the degree of suspicion that exists on our side, even though we've won, right? And we know that there yeah. are, you know, obviously there are fractures in this very small group of people that are proposing their own particular. Um, solution to a non-problem or pretending to be for a non-problem which is actually a solution for another problem they haven't admitted to but which we know all about and we have solutions for as well and like i say i mean we actually calling it the great reason we're more happy to do that but how that looks in different places is another matter um so yeah there, but so liam hallett book about affordable housing so you know i mean they're actually bringing people up i mean I, peter underwood that wrote the jigsaw financial jigsaw puzzle I mean, i'm due to speak with him later this week um i wrote to him saying look i've read the book and i did a blog sort of basically um saying that actually it's not a jigsaw you know that that, that you're not solving a jigsaw here there's 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 the, it, 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 it's it's something else uh and but i did my sit rep and i said to him look you know what's your sit rep for these two specific questions and then maybe we that's what we can talk about your book but it's what you're proposing coming out of it you know Apply. not what your not the story your book says you know all of that sort of thing what are the concrete proposals? I mean, he's, he's, he goes by the handle Austrian Peter, so he sort of said, "I'm an Austrian economist." Well, well, I, I mean, I had that discussion with him two years ago, and I said, "Well, there are actually lots of different types of Austrian. Which type of Austrian are you?" And hopefully, it's not Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> if we're if we're lucky, he'll be uh, Ludwig Wittgenstein post 1922. Indeed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, well Schumpeter. Yeah. Schumpeter and von Mises hated each other. It's been really, really good talking because, as I told you, I'm at a good point now. Um, not be oh, I sold a book on eBay. Uh, oh, that's a big fucking deal. I mean, I really, I massively underpriced it. But um, tomorrow, when the post office opens, I'm gonna because I lost my card yesterday, actually. Uh, no, this is quite it's quite funny i went to see a drag queen last night with uh, my friend because it was her birthday uh, yeah. and uh it was really funny the drag queen was scottish and um at one point she had this blue lagoon cocktail in her hand and uh at one point looks at the front row and says oh i know there's there's two two people who had said that they were from near glasgow as was the drag queen and she just goes i know you're scottish but can you be trusted to look after my blue lagoon? Um, yeah. And then, and then she said um, that one of them had said, "Oh, it's okay. No, you can trust me because I've left my rehypnol at home." Um, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, no, I, I, I lost, I lost my card last night, and so I've got to cycle up to the bank to get some money out to um, to send off my book that I sold on eBay, um, right. which I'm quite pleased about. But no, otherwise. The different sectors that we were talking about, do you remember I said tax, democracy, all these different things that we you've mentioned that all look different? Well, just the very fact that there's a list of things that appear to be different to how we're being told, and then a list of people that we've just talked about who have brilliant ideas. Um, I feel like now's a good time. In the same way that five years ago, I just interviewed loads of people under the Real Media banner. Um, mm -hmm. What I always wanted to do was to quote unquote get the band back together again and contact yeah. people and say, I'm coming to interview you. You know, that's the thing. And 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 um what I think would work is this, right? It is um 
they, they used to be like a, a, a pop vox kind of magazine thing where they would just ask, uh, um, you know, like five questions, yes or no, or, or in a sentence, what's, you know. Um, <laughs> and so a sit format, like a, a vox pop vocal sit rep. And so there are, they're, they're, you know, they're, you know, they're like the four. Oh, brilliant. So I could just go downstairs with my five questions and just go up to people and just say, uh, you know, this is this is this is a, an interpretation. What's your take? Yeah, like I that. mean, a, a open a, question, maybe. Oh, well, the opening statement is. Um, something along the lines of the the world economic forum and the billionaire class have proposed a great reset their initiative have stalled right um we don't think they should get another go right so it's it's our go now because we've won or we've won by default right You know, what's the you know what's the situation today? You know, where are we at? What, what i.e. what are what are the priorities that need solving? Yeah, what actions have been taken to date, or alleged to be taken to date, to give that solution? Right? Um, is there anything that's actually in play that might work? You know, so what are, what actions are stand a chance of working? Are there any? And then the final thing is, is, is uh, right. OK, so what are the issues? What are the risks associated with it? You know, and, and what decisions are needed? What do we do? What are your proposals? You know, and that is, uh, you know, that, that's that's the process that's required to go through, you know, yeah. because. Effectively, then people will organize at different levels and and, and like wiki ballot exists they can do it through that it's very easy i mean setting up a tiki wiki with all the all of the technology required for groups of people you know around grouping set out in the um hardwick uh, alliance action plan you know um there's a map you can join there are already groups of people talking about this stuff there are like active groups in cornwall for home visiting and, and nursing and stuff like that filling in the gap that the, the nhs isn't able to address because of the um well basically because of babylon health <laughs> fucking hell roger on that topic i saw that virgin care got taken over in october by a company uh it's called 20 so the 2020 or i think it's called 2020 with uh mm -hmm. 20 20 in letters and then 20 as a digit but it's called 2020 capital and i had a look at the other firms they have well i mean these people are absolutely rinsing it in virgin Cap care looks like a tiny fraction of what they've got it's all public um public services you know it's like that guy um ratcliffe with ineos you know just buying up all the old chemical stuff they've got yeah. everything you know, recruitment, um, um, military, everything. Who are the non-execs on the BART board? Where are the share options? You know, wh where's the, you know, basically, where are the backhanders going in and all of that? Yeah. All lot, like in the PFI, all the rest of it, you know, H how many, how many companies associate with Matt Hancock, um, uh, Hunt, um, uh, um, not, not Milliband, Milburn, Alan Milburn. He was health yeah. secretary. He's up to his eyes in all these things. You know, they they all are. All of these people that had their noses in the trough. And it's you know, think, it, yeah, it, it's think, ambidextrous. Um, it's not left or right. They're ambidextrous. <laughs> <laughs> they're very ambidextrous. Um, I think I think I'm going to leave you alone now. Um, great talking to you. And um, did you say maybe at the end of next week? Uh, well, possibly this week. I, I, you know, um, I, I hadn't realised it was a bank holiday today, but you know, uh, I, I'm hoping to be 
on a plane before the end of the week and then I'll be over for a couple of weeks. I've got to come back uh, at the end of May, ish, ish, and then I'll be back over then in June. So I mean, what I'm planning to do is get into a groove of coming up. I mean, you know, I mean, I, yeah. Yeah, I've got business to do, you know, you know, um, but like I say, well, we've got to act and get on and implement stuff. Praxis, not theory, not praxicology, praxis, not praxicology, you know. Well, I'm starting to realise that I've got some business to do as well. So um, I look forward to uh, updating you next time I speak to you. Good one. Cheers, Ranjan. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.